explain this thing. Okay, so Stephen should explain it probably more because he wrote all of it. Yeah. So this is so we did this like we do this like comp side thing here from time to time. Mainly Stephen comes and complains that my ideas are stupid, and then I have to I have to try to, to make to feel better about myself later. But anyway, um, this is a heap sort, visualizing a heap sort, right? So you can tell. I'll just start it so you can see. So basically, each line this way, right, is a is a number, right? So you can tell how it's actually trying to sort them. But so it's an, the implementation is a type of I don't know if you know comp size, but there's like different types of ways to sort things, right? You can like bubble sort, where you like take one and like bring it to the top, and then go find the next one and bring it to the top. There's like quick sort, where you like keep like splitting in half and resorting, split in half and resort and stuff. Uh, and then this is the explosions you wrote. These are like little explosions. After this will go on for a fucking long time because apparently it does 1,500 explosions. After this, there's a 3D cube, and then the real thing it does. <laughs> we're gonna try to mass produce these on those CNC machines, probably big ones. This one took like 40 hours to make because it's all hand soldered on the back with like and stuff. But um, we'll try to make them and CNC the the the, the boards. And actually, make these PCBs so we can make them just CNC them and just walk away, and come back. Solder up to LEDs and throw them on, but uh, it, right now it plays Conway's Game of Life, which is like a um, I forgot what the exact name was for it. It's, it's, like a, it's a, basically a fine. It's like a. Do you remember what, it, what Conway? The, the, it's like a. It's like a. It's like a cellular finite automatic game. Basically, it's like a. It's like a way of representing like what would happen in life if like things get overpopulated, or underpopulated. It's like if a square has a neighbor. If it has three neighbors, it dies. If it has two neighbors, it lives. If it has one neighbor, it dies because like it doesn't reproduce, right? If it has if three there are three cells with a neighbor that's dead next to it, that neighbor becomes alive because those three reproduce and make that one live, right? So it's like a way of like looking at resources. And so it plays that out for a long time. There's little cool little things. And then after that it does another sort and another But we'll try to make whole walls of these one day. And this is like a stupid project for you. Eventually. Oh yeah, yeah, I can see it, I can see it. Oh yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah, totally. Madness. Is yeah. to render a cube? How's the anti-aliasing yeah. on something like this? <laughs> well, there is none. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it looks great, though. It's very pro-aliasing. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, hey! Every now and then it'll line up perfectly. <laughs> yeah, right. Every once in a while you yeah. can actually tell what it is. It's so awesome. <laughs> program is, do we program this thing? Is that supposed to be a 3D one? Yeah, you can eventually see it when it comes close yeah. enough. Ah, awesome. All right, now we need to get it running Doom. <laughs> That'll be a little harder. If somebody can get... I thought that 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 I thought that